It's muddy like the other place, babe. Oh, hold on, babe. You want me to help you? So, Pank and I finally made it. It's a uh, quarter till four o'clock, and uh, she doesn't want me to help her, so I'm gonna let her do it. The wind is uh, very strong. We're not gonna do a tarp. Uh, I have to because I'm gonna be in a hammock. Um, but yeah, just got through pouring down raining, and there again, drove all the way up here to this spot, and it was pouring down raining. Once we get here, it clears off. So I guess that's a good thing. How do you hunt? No, it's going that way. All right, so let's get set up. I hope I get enough battery. Story of my life. I don't think it's gonna rain right now, but <clears throat> I don't wanna wait for it to rain. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything going here. Get on my mat. It's back there, I see it. All right, it's very muddy here. Um, a lot of worms. It looks like a lot of worms have come up, made these little mud castles. Yep, I knew it was gonna fall. Bam. Simple as that. This is the easiest ridge line I've ever put up um, using two carabiners. Boy, that's windy. <laughs> Stuff's gonna blow away. All right, we might get, it uh, looks like we might get a little more rain. We'll see. Okay. I try my best to hurry up. I see a lot of wind down there. There's a lake down there. 
way at the bottom of the mountain and uh, you can't even see it. Not, it was a mirror finish, but now there's a bunch of wind, so we might get some strong wind coming up. Gonna tack down the uh, tarp, make sure it's uh, secure. I was gonna put my uh, hiking poles up, man, but it's too windy. And I have a feeling there's more wind coming because it's too still right now. Looks like we might have some more rain coming. Eh, maybe, maybe not. I think it's just clouds, not a big deal. Uh, I had to set this up a little bit differently. Um, I don't know what style this is. I, I forget the style of it. Um, but I cannot have a front porch. There's too much wind and it, it's like a parasail. And then I have my little uh, backpack sling hammock over there to, with all my gear in it. So I'm gonna finish this up. All the wind and everything's coming right up from the valley. So uh, we're gonna see how it is. We're gonna stay here for at least one night um, and see how it goes and then go from there. Uh, but the cool thing about this place, you can hammock, tent, camp, whatever you want to do. Also, they have rent rentable uh, cottages over here to your left, uh, to my right. Um, so it overlooks this whole valley as well. So they say this is the prettiest campsite in all of Calco uh, Mountains. So it looks that way to me. It, I think we're going to see an amazing sunset. The ground here is very muddy. So even the previous campsite we were just at about uh, four hours ago was uh, muddy as well. So we had to wait till our, all of our equipment dried off, tents and tarps before we could even pack it up. So, okay. Table and chair, sit. I hope the tarp does not tear. Better not, uh, or I will be saying something about this. Um, it's stretching. I know right now it's stretching the uh, seams up here at the ridge line. So don't know what to do. I have one more carabiner I'm going to use on the top because it's really pulling it. Hopefully this will help. It's putting a lot of st stress right here. As you can see in the video earlier, man, this thing was blowing so hard. Uh, I thought I was going to rip it. We have about an hour and a half before sunset. I'm just going to tidy things up and help hang out a little bit and uh, I'll come back. We just had some passing storms and uh, didn't do too much um, when we got here, but uh, there's a, a misty haze fog coming up over the tree line back there in the background. There's a lake down at the bottom and you can see the, uh, I would say just a cloud front coming across the sunset over there to the left. Hey guys, we just got back from dinner. Literally inside my hammock and tarp. So if you can see everything set up here. Uh, it's it's kind of damp and it's got like a little mist in the air. So I'm up under here because everything's really wet. Um, I'm going to change, I got everything put up, put away, and going to slip into the hammock for a little bit. So you can see it's really windy out, my hammock's getting blown away. I'll show you guys the bathrooms man, the bathrooms are, <laughs> you don't know what typical Thai style bathrooms are, and the toilets, you'll know here in just a little bit. Alright, I'm going to change and uh, get comfortable, get out of these pants, this dirty shirt and uh, 
get ready for bed. We're gonna go brush and I'm already got my sleeping clothes on. Um, it's 10 o'clock, but uh, we've had a long day. We, we get up early, drove four, four hours or more. Yeah, so we're gonna go brush up and wash up a little bit. Oh, let me show you the bathrooms. I gotta show you the bathrooms. All right, all right, so when you say old school traditional Thai bathroom and showers, oh, there it is. Those bugs are all on the floor, man. So this is what we have to do. It's sketchy, it's sketchy, bro. And the showers are up there, a lot of bugs. Oh, is he behind me? Oh, there's a frog in there. Fro frogs, oh. So, yep. There's your shower. Yep, that's what you wash your butt with right there. What is that dude in there? Look at that dude. Ooh. Cicadas. That's what they are. We're, we're twins right now. We're wearing... <laughs> I'm wearing, I'm wearing black pants, and she's wearing black leotard pants. Same shirts. Le Ridge leg up, honey. There we go. Got the same pants on. Yeah, we're winging it, bro. All right, I'm gonna brush my teeth. It went from clear to foggy. <laughs> All the clouds are literally coming through right now. This is crazy. Babe, we may not be able to see in the morning. I mean, look at this. We are in the clouds. A lot of moisture coming through. So it just cleared up. <laughs> but I think there's gonna be more coming. Uh, it's really windy, you guys. And I apologize for the wind um, and the noise. But I had to redo my whole tarp. It is uh, extremely windy. My, I don't know what happened, but my ridge line came off. So it popped. I think the knot came loose and it just, it gave way. My whole ridge line fell down, tarp came down. I had to pull all that back, redo all my lines. I'm telling you, it's windy. First time I've actually camped out in this high um, mountains with the clouds. Now, I, when I lived, uh, lived in Las Vegas, I went to Mount Charleston, and that's 11,000 something feet. And uh, it got cold, I mean, down in the teens. Winds, snow, um, I can't compare it because that was winter here. It's just uh, this time of year. So anyway, here comes the fog again. Turn my light on, there it is. So the fog's coming through again. With the naked eye, you could see the clouds right at the base of the uh, the mountain, and you they were just coming right up, man, coming up. But there you go, it's foggy now. You can see that? Yeah, you can see it. There's a big old bullfrog outside your tent. Foggy, windy wet and cool air very nice i just hope this thing holds up i'm going to be honest uh, the wind is blowing from this side and pushing in right here you can see it just curved in there's so much uh tension on this side i it won't i can't get it to hold down but oh there's the fog it's just getting thick now <laughs> Huh? It's not. It's fog, babe. It's not raining. It's. Yes, yeah, it's thick. I can. I can. When I got the light on, I can barely see your tent. Here comes the wind again. That wind died down. Now it's starting back up.
let me show you guys something. I was um, tightening down her ropes to make sure everything was secure. Look at this. I, I, I did this rope, did that rope. I did this rope and I went to go tighten down that um, that corner right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a big, big bullfrog sitting right in there. I mean, he is huge. He is about the size of my foot. And I ain't lying. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. He is huge. And there's the size of, there's the size of my hand next to the hole, but he is right in there. I don't even want to mess with him. He's a big dude. He might be poisonous. I have no idea. All right, Pank's coming out. And sure enough, it clears up when she comes out here. You gonna go shower? No. Oh. But look, I know you can't see it, but look, look now. See the clouds? Yeah. Yeah. They're coming right up. But you gotta turn your light on. To see it, see? Mm. You gonna be alright? I hope so. Man, that thing is blowing. It took, my whole uh ridge line came down. Now you can see down downtown now. You can't you couldn't see it while I go. See the fog coming up? Look at that. <laughs> while I go, you can even see your tent. I can barely see it, babe. Yeah. yeah. But see, the wind's blowing so much, it's coming, it's just passing right through. Early morning. Oh, it's, gonna, it's probably going to be, we're going to be sitting in it. So now, though, you can see the downtown lights now. All right, so we might have some bad weather coming in. I'm not for sure. I'm going to check the radar. But when it lightnings in the background, you guys, it shows the whole massive uh, rain cloud way in the background. So I don't know how close that is, but it looks pretty close. But let me see if I can catch the lightning. There it is. So you guys see that? <laughs> it looks like it's getting close. Well, it's almost, uh, it's about quarter to 11 o'clock. Still windy. I had to re redo my tarp. The wind is just pulling it. Had to re-engineer it basically because uh, the way the direction of the wind is coming. Oh, anyway, I'm in my hammock. Um, gonna try to make it through the night a lot of fog a lot of wind and that storm that we saw earlier uh, haven't either went around the mountain or dissipated or something but we'll see Pang said it's starting to rain so I don't hear anything yet I don't see it may be little bitty drops but I don't hear anything but all right you guys wish me luck and if there's anything if there's anything interesting comes up I'll uh, be sure to film it all right you guys Long, all night, all night, all night long. All right, good morning, everyone. It's uh almost eight o'clock. Wind is still blowing. It's cold. This little blanket I got did not do enough. My feet are like ice right now. I don't know what the temperature is. I'll have to find out. But um, it did this all night, ma'am. Like, I can get up, get warm. 
get some coffee. Oh man. Alright, let's get this started. I'm using the carabiners to tie in with my ridge line and <clears throat> to fasten this I put a, a lark's hitch right here and then the other end I just loop it around one and then twice right through here and then pull it but the problem is is that it's so windy and so much tension on this line it pulls off so I do it a third time and then <clears throat> put a little half hitch right here and it holds it it's very very tight it hasn't moved yet so um so yeah this knot is working out so far but there again i'm not putting two i'm not putting two loops in this one i'm not doing this one two because it's not enough so what i'm doing <clears throat> to make this work because it's so windy i'm putting one two and then three and then pulling it. And that puts a little more tension and more uh, resistance on the line. I mean, as you can see, it's very windy and there's so much tension on the ridge line that uh, my tarp is like a parasail and it's pulling so hard that it pulled my, it pulled the uh, tension off the carabiner. So I pulled that thing until it, I couldn't pull it no more and it still came loose. So wrapping around a third time uh, secures the knot. All right, so this is the Cal Cole post office. And the cool thing about this post office is 
the view. Let me walk over there. Not only, <clears throat> excuse me, not only is there a view, you can actually camp here on top of this hill. You can camp over there. So they have campgrounds <clears throat> along the side of the hill right behind the post office. <laughs> so pretty awesome views as well. It's windy. Got some more rain coming. You can see some rain coming right over there, but it's going that way. But this right here is coming towards us, so I feel a couple drops. It's beautiful up here. Alright, this is going to be our last night here. It's um, about to rain. Pang's doing a video and I'm interrupting her video. But um, we have a thunderstorm coming in across the valley. You can see it right there at the, at the, the beginning. Just a wall of rain. So we're going to get hit hard. Probably with some lot of wind too because this wind's blowing up here. But uh, my hammock is all tightened up. Get it all uh, secured down. So I was ready to go. My hammock's in there, my stuff. But yeah, here comes the rain. So, she, oh yeah, she better. Here she's doing this last minute. Let's fix and pour down. Yeah, hurry up. Put the zipper up here, one side of it. So, all right, we'll be inside. You see, the lake is getting hammered. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, the lake down there is getting hammered right now. But yeah, here comes the rain. I can feel drops blowing. All right. Wish us luck. Okay, we're both inside. It's starting to rain really hard right now. We're just checking for leaks right now. <laughs> It's going to clear off in a little bit. Okay. Alright, it's going to be our probably third rain of the day, so I'm going back into the hammock. It's going to be uh, pouring down, so here we go. Alright, babe, here it comes, okay? Just in time.
Yeah. I'm up. <laughs> about to head out. We'll get about uh, an hour and a half to two hour drive. Maybe two hours. Maybe two hours. Um, so we had a wonderful time here. Uh, what's the name of this camp? Uh, okay, so you got you got you got that? So. Nagaman Wan Chai. Nagaman Chai. Okay. So that's the name of the camp. I'll link it uh, below in the description. Thanks for watching Traveling Tiv and be sure to check out Pang and Nature, her videos. She's got really good videos as well. So alright you guys. See you at the next one. Okay.